Hi everyone, in this quick video I am going to let you know how, I, uh, how I'm doing on my dropshipping. As you may watch my videos, you may wear that I'm a new to dropshipping. Now, month of July 2018, I have actually sold a couple of these swimming tub, swimming pool, children's swimming pool. And um, um like to share what I'm learning. If you're a newbie to drop shipping and you can probably pick up one or two advice or get some hint from me how I'm doing things. Obviously I've been selling on eBay for many years so I know how to deal with eBay problems and things like that. But drop shipping was something completely new to me. And I'm just learning as I go along. So recently uh, when I sold a couple of those swimming tubs now I had a email um, telling me the customer wanted to return one of these items. So in their explanation they put the item was defect which is mean uh, you know I, I shipped them a brand new items now they should sh send me some pictures and photos uh, the, the tab was the tab had a defect so every time they load it up pumped it up put the water in and it started slowly slowly um, going down so I was in a dilemma, so what to do, you know, to refund the, the money, refund them completely, issue a refund, or to, to replace the item. So because I didn't know what to do, and I'm sort of brand new, I don't know how to go about, I've as I always do, keep the customer relationship good. I kept on emailing the customer and to find out what do they want. Do they want their uh, money back, refund, or would they like uh, me to replace them with another product, similar, another one? And I was surprised they emailed me back telling me if they could have another one, a replacement. So I was happy to do that, but the thing was I didn't know what to do. How do I print out a label? How do I issue a refund or so you go to a supplier's Amazon and do all that bits and pieces? Luckily, you know, I said, I said to myself, you know, Let's go. Let's give it a go. See see how we go along. So I entered my Amazon account, and on the order order page it says return item. So I clicked it, and I was so surprised. It's so easy. It's like step by step guidance. What to do, not to do. They send me. They emailed me a label and I've emailed back to the customer with the label for for them to return the the punctured pull back to Amazon. And believe it or not, Amazon replaced the, the item like for like with the customer. So they send them another brand new um, swimming tub. And that was quite easy, I thought. You know, I found a very. And obviously, at first, I was a bit scared. I didn't know what to do. And I, in one hand, I wanted to return the money, and another hand, I want to give them a replacement. And then I find the hold. 
procedure is so easy. Um, at the end, the customer was happy. They gave me a fantastic uh, feedback. I was happy that they got a. They've. They've received a new swimming tub. So, yeah. So that's one thing I've learned. Whatever the situation is, you should always tackle ahead on. You know, don't be scared of. You know, don't fear. Oh, what do I do or not do? I never done this before, so that was first time. It was a learning process for me to get a, a refound label from Amazon and send it to them. And the surprising thing was the customer thought that she was sending me the item rather than the Amazon people. But actually, you know, the label is clearly said Amazon warehouse, you know, gives it. But I was really shocked. The customer didn't even bother with an Amazon product. And I watch all these dropshipping videos and people talk about, oh, how would they react, customer react. You know, end of the day, if you're willing to provide customer good service, if you do everything precise, right, I don't think people have any issue. The same issue he applied here, you know. I had a problem. I I found a solution. I sorted the problem out. Customer is happy. I'm happy. I've learned something. And that's one obstacle over. So it, together we've learned something. So when you're doing something new, tackle ahead on. You know, don't be frightened. And don't panic. You know, it's not the end of the world. It's an item, you know, even if you have to refund them, refund them. If they ask for a, a replacement, offer them a replacement. You know, make sure the customer is always right. And you go from strength to strength. So that is my experience as I'm starting my dropshipping business. This is the first obstacle I knew I will have to face it one day. It's, it's, it's good that I faced it earlier on rather than later. So now I've learned how to do that period. And obviously over the years, months and years, there'll be so many other problems on the way and one has to deal with it. And if you, if you, if you become, you know, if you get, get, start getting annoyed and this sort of thing, you're not going to succeed. So any business, any problems, tackle head on. So that would be my advice to you guys out there starting new. You know, don't get angry. Tackle problem head on. So always a solution out there. Always a solution to any problem. So always a solution. So thank you for watching this video and all of my other video. Click like and subscribe button. And please leave a comment behind. Thank you.